gotta get inside and watch a horror movie tonight. What? It's September, there's Halloween stuff out already. What the hell? Oh my God. Why are there weirdos in my trampoline? Oh my God. Let's get in the house. I gotta get in the house. I need my keys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's crazy people out here. Let's get some. Oh, I can't get in. I can't get in. I can't get in. I can't get in. Oh my God. Oh my God, let's go inside. Jesus. What are we watching tonight? Oh my God, I can't believe that. That's just too crazy. Oh. Contamination. A former astronaut helps a government agent and a police detective track the source of myster mysterious alien pod spores filled with lethal fresh dissolving acid to a South American coffee plantation controlled by alien pod clones. Hey, it's Dad. And I'm back with another episode of Dad Watches Horror Movies. This time, Dad Watches Contamination. This is some Italian horror for you. Luigi Cozy, the director. This is a sci-fi horror picture. 1980s. There's some good practical effects going on here. Also, Goblin. Yes, Goblin. The score composers. One of the best horror movie score composers ever. So sit back, relax, and enjoy watching Contamination with Dad. Let's get this thing started, shall we? I have seen Contamination before. I've only seen it once. So this will be my second watch through. I remember a few scenes, but don't remember the full storyline. Don't remember when things come up. I just remember it had awesome goblin score and there were some pretty good practical effects. So we'll be watching this on Amazon Prime. So if you have Amazon Prime, have fun with it. Find contamination, watch it. Let me know your thoughts on it too in the comments if you'd like. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dad Watches Horror Movies. You can see my little icon on the bottom right hand side of the screen with my face on it. Yes, that's a nice face. Click on it and subscribe, please. Alex. Contamination. Helicopter sounds in the background. Ian McCulloch. So, no opening score, which is always a bore to me. I like having a nice opening score to my horror movies. Oh, there's a blast from the past. I always prefer a good title screen, a good intro. So, but this is meh. But I don't judge a movie by its opening credits. Noteworthy credit coming up right there. Music by The Goblin. Oh yeah, you will know, I will know, we all will know once The Goblin score kicks in. Here we go. They're going on board the abandoned ship. It has a weird smell on it. They're all suited up. 
trying to figure out what the hell is going on. A ship coming into the bay. No crew, weird smells. They don't. Unless there are aliens involved. Looking at the ship's logs. What the hell happened to these people? Apparently. Ooh, making jokes already. Trying to lighten the mood. Oh, he's gonna open that door and a body's gonna fall out. Oh, called it! Don't you think they'd be a little bit more surprised? They're trying to figure it out, but they are not concerned whatsoever. More dead bodies. Found some more. Found some more. Ugh. Look, it looks like the head looks like the head that they made an escape from Alcatraz with Clint Eastwood. The fake heads they put in the cots. I'll tell you one thing. No disease or virus can reduce the magic escape in such a short time. Yeah. No shit, bro. If a disease you currently know does that, then we would all know about it. Looks like you got a new pandemic on your hands. Looks like there's a bunch of coffee in the hold. Yeah, boxes full of coffee give me the creeps. Ooh, Easter eggs. Those don't look alien at all. What are they, Doc? I don't know. Whatever they are, they came out of this case of coffee. No. <laughs> Whatever they are, they came out of this case of coffee. Yeah, the box is spilt over and the eggs are coming out of it. Of course it came out of the case of coffee. I don't know what they are. What do you think they are? I'm like, well, they look like eggs. Something like, uh, like a giant squash or avocado or, or some kind of mango. They look like big green eggs to me. There you go. This guy's smart. <laughs> you hear the noise it's making? Dude, I'd back up from that. <laughs> these guys are very observant and they're really figuring this thing out. It's like they're reading a research paper. We don't know. We'd have to examine them in the lab to be sure. Hey, go get you one. Don't touch them. It could be dangerous. Hey, don't worry. You're an idiot. Dude, you'd be way more surprised at finding something like this, and you wouldn't touch it. How much slower are you going to bring it up and stand up with him? Is he standing up all slow with him too? Look at him. Whoa! Italian horror practical effects in the 80s. 
some of the best. Oh! Blowing up sternums, blowing up torsos. Slow motion. <laughs> Still in slow motion. Oh, now their bodies are steaming. Yeah. Score kicks up. Italian horror gore at its finest. Run, bro. Looks like a popped balloon with a mixture of yellow and green paint or popped like rubber ball. Look at these suits they're wearing. It's like they have Tin Man suits on. <laughs> Big old face masks and helmets. <laughs> Look at the moon boots. <laughs> Moon boots and Tin Man helmets. <laughs> Man, this is the guy's got oven mitts. <laughs> oh, man, look at those things are unnecessarily huge. <laughs> look at her looking through it. <laughs> There's so much more room inside those freaking helmets than necessary. <laughs> so they found out the warehouse where all those eggs are supposed to be delivered and they're raiding it oh yeah concerned surprising looks dun 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 Oh, is it a standoff? Drop your guns! Oh yeah, Italian horror standoff. Score kicks up. About to see something intense or what? <laughs> Why would he shoot it? Look at the guy on the left. He's got like a smile on his face as he's falling down. He's slow motion. He's still smiling. Did you see him? He smiles and falls back in slow motion. Why did they decide to kill themselves? I guess we'll figure that out later. What? The smile and him falling down slowly. <laughs> I love the slow motion chest bursting scenes. Here we go. Argument ensues. Don't be mean to him. You were mean to him before, You're and now you regret it. Considering that I was not one of the commissioned who interrogated you. Interrogated? You mean judged and convicted, don't you? Kicked out of the service like some some crazy lying visionary. Well, what are you doing here anyway? Idle curiosity? Oh, come on, Colonel. What is it you want to know? How many times a week I screw? <laughs> If you're always in this condition, it's quite obvious you couldn't get it up, even if you used a crane. Damn insults, lady. You buried this guy because you thought he was crazy, and now you're coming to apologize what you for what you've done for ruining his life and his career, 
and now you found out that he was telling the truth about those alien eggs and you insult him about he can't get it up with a crane? Man. And his plaid shirt matches with his couch. It was all such a long time ago. What happened on Mars two years ago? You knew our Douglas Quaid happened on Mars. Blue skies on Mars, he saved Mars. Oh, look at that cave, it looks like a mouth. How convenient. Doesn't look like Mars. Isn't Mars red? And we saw Quato in the cave. And Quato told us some crazy stuff about Remember. About how we can make oxygen on Mars. It was dark and strangely humid, and it was there we saw the eggs. God, there were so many. Ooh, what a slimy cave. Like Looks like inside of a butthole. And then, <laughs> from the back of the cave, we heard a noise as if something was approaching, something ominous, and it radiated a light. As it moved towards Ooh, now the cave is like hairy. Slowly filling the cave with, with this blind, hypnotic light. As it came towards us, the I goblin score the kicks the up. His eye. He, he was beginning. Hamilton was beginning to. Hamilton! Hamilton! She just got out of the shower. Oh my god. And one of those eggs are in her bathroom. And she's locked in a shower. She's locked in the bathroom. One of those guys are gonna save her. Who is it? Which guy's gonna save her? Is it gonna be the detective? Or is it gonna be the guy who is considered crazy? We will see. Come on, you gotta save her. You can get into her heart if you save her from the crazy egg in the bathroom while she's just in a bathrobe. You can then save her and you can get on her good side and you might be able to date her later, bro. Come on, man, you should know. Oh no. You're all alone. Maybe you should be nicer to people. What's she gonna do about it? Oh, she can take care of herself. She'll get out of the situation. Come on, get out. Oh, screwed. This scene has been so drawn out. Finally, they figure it out. They walk by her room, contemplate whether to bother her because she had her Do Not Disturb sign on, talk for a while, she tries to get out, and then they finally, oh, let's turn back and check. No, let's leave her alone. And finally, uh, man, this has taken like 15 minutes. Saved her. Finally. So they're at the coffee factory. As you can see. No way, that's not this guy's voice. <laughs> so not his voice. So overdubbed with another voice. He doesn't even have a, a Spanish accent. Well, not. And they speak Spanish, but he's got no Spanish accent. So you can see here, I have a perfect American accent, and I'm in this country, and selling coffee, and you got the eggs, and the coffee box, and blah. You can go around They've been captured. And now it's getting romantic. Oh. Well, that was a crappy kiss. No, it wasn't. It's the most fantastic thing that's ever happened to me in my whole life. <laughs> really? That little 
kiss is the most fantastic thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. Dude, <laughs> your life sucks then, bro. <laughs> when he's like, he's like 35, maybe 37, maybe even 40, that guy. And he's saying that's the most fantastic thing. Dude, you live a boring life. <laughs> He found all the eggs outside. And these guys are getting them and putting them in incubators. Oh, we know what he's gonna do. Eye in the gun, looking at the guy. He's gonna attack him and dress up in the same suit and follow the people. Score kicks up. Oh, he's got the gun now. Uh, goblin score, ready to go. And the climax begins. It is my master who creates the eggs. He grew out of a tiny seed that I brought back from Mars. Dun dun. And then the heat develops them to maturity. Maturity. Now this is the epic score, right here. He's shocked. Uh-oh, the Cyclops is getting to him. Right here, the breakdown. Taking over his mind. The weak minded get it. He's calling you. He wants you. Go. Tony. Tony. Shut up! Tony! Tony, stop! Uh-oh. He's walking into the Cyclops' eye. Oh. So it's got two mouths. Uh-oh. Such an epic score. Look at this, all practical effects. How much time and effort that must have taken to build that thing. It looks like it's literally 10 feet tall. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's done for. Squeezed him to death, I guess. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> he's being absorbed. And were they going to push him back out? As I mentioned before, very good practical effects here. A lot of work was done, a lot of work. You just don't see that anymore these days. It's cheaper for people to just go straight CGI and not put the time and effort into de designing a crazy, creepy monster or some crazy, creepy gore. Dun 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 dun. No, 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 don't. It's got a huge brain. It's your turn. Oh, you're done for. 
no way to resist the goblin score. It puts you in a trance, and then you get sucked into the Cyclops alien big brain mouth thing. Uh-oh. She's getting ready to be eaten. Hey, the spy! Kill him! So this is what's going on on the other side. Disguised himself as a as a guy working for the company, and now he's gonna save everyone. Oh, firefight! Oh, here we go. Some exploding torso, exploding action. Ooh. Oh, she's still alive. Stop! Stop! Hey, why don't you listen to him? He said stop. And he yelled it too. Oh, now you're both in there together. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. How much you want to bet she gets saved? Two mouths with steamy slobber and one eye. Oh, he's in a pickle. Don't shoot. Don't do what the Cyclops wants. Don't shoot. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you hear the kick? I heard the kick. It knocked the gun out and went paw. She's got very droopy eyes. Droopy eyes versus the big yellow eye. Oh, the mouth is getting ready to absorb the epic battle. It's like a wrestling hold. Save her! Right in the eye. He's gonna get it in one shot too, watch. This guy's probably never fired a gun in his life and he just killed like three people and now he's gonna take one shot and have flashbacks of the rectum that he was in in Mars. Damn you! Oh, you heard it. Now it's crying. Oh, he's still alive. He's melting away too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love the slow motion torso blow ups. Still going slow motion in the slow motion scream. Oh, he catches on fire. Yep. 
You saved the get. You this the. You saved the day. The day has been saved. No more contamination. So what's this conclusion here? People walking around the city. Oh, I guarantee there's an egg in there. Oh yeah. Sequel ending. Oh. It's dead. And thanks for watching Contamination with me. I love this score. Big fan of Goblin, as you've known, as I've said it a hundred times. Best horror movie score composers. Anyway, Contamination, let's uh, talk about it a little bit here, but not too long. So, Italian horror movie, I believe it was released in Europe in 1980 and then released in the United States in 1982. I can't be sure, but that's my thought. I don't do much research. I just watch these movies. I riff on them. I commentate. I tell it like it is right off the top of my dome and we go from there. I'm not one of those researchers of movies before I start watching something and tell you special secret facts or behind the scene facts it's just not my style so my style is shoot from the hip and we go so contamination the beginning great awesome practical effects a bunch of exploding torsos on a boat even good stuff building up the story a little bit trying to figure out what's going on so then the middle of the movie hits and it gets stagnant. It drags on. They drag on a few scenes. Like the scene where she's locked in the bathroom and there's an egg in there. I think that scene was dra dragged on for about 15 minutes while these guys tried to figure out if they should go in her room or not. And knock on her door while she needs help. So some of that stuff is just a little too much for me. But I understand why they do it. It's because they want to build up the hype for the epic conclusion, which the conclusion for 1982, 1980 was pretty epic. That big 10 foot tall Cyclops type alien. That's a lot of work of practical effects, as I mentioned earlier, while we were watching that scene. So I can see why they drug on in the middle, spent less money in the middle, used all their money for the beginning and the end. So save the best for last which contamination did it's a good job it's a great way to conclude it and as you can see back here the slow motion of the exploding torsos and i believe they did this on purpose because they wanted to showcase the practical effects designers work um, i don't know who, who he was what his name was or anything i didn't look into that it doesn't matter you can probably find out by just searching it anywhere so it's not like I need to tell you that stuff because I'm sure you can find it out by just asking Google and then there you go. So there's no need for me to reiterate facts that are already online. And all the facts about these movies are everywhere online. Well, not everywhere, but they're online and they're easy to find. Why should I reiterate them? How about I just give you my opinion instead? So the conclusion was great. The beginning was great. The middle was average. So, in turn, it's a good movie, not a great movie. Underrated, I believe, in the Italian horror genre. Very underrated. So, if you want to check it out, it's on Amazon Prime. And, yeah, check it out, Amazon Prime. So, it has two versions on Amazon Prime, actually. I think it has the original release and then the American release, which might be a little bit different. I ended up watching the American release so the quality was a little bit better. It's the 1982 version. So if you are going to watch it, I haven't seen the 1981 that's on there. Um, so it might be a little bit different. So, But I watched the 1982 version. It was a little bit clearer with the contrast and the brightness and stuff. So, And the sound quality was better. Um, anyway, that's Contamination. And this is episode 20 
of Dad Watches Horror Movies. It's been a year. So thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for watching Contamination with me. And I look forward to seeing you all more in the future as I have more videos to post. So, I will see you next time on Dad Watches Horror Movies. Uh, I wish I had a goblin score to send me off. <laughs>